Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited you came to the channel today to talk about QuickBooks Point of Sale. As always, this is your main place, your main channel, BlackRock Business, place to check out all the different tutorials for QuickBooks Point of Sale. I hope I can answer all of your questions. And if I haven't answered all your questions, go ahead and shoot me off a comment or join our Facebook group and we will put up any videos that you want. So today we are going to talk about uh, what you can import into QuickBooks Point of Sale. This question I get a lot. I, I, get, a, I get questions about certain things. Can I import this? Can I import that? Uh, but like I mentioned a moment ago, before we go into the video, I want you to click on the link down in the description below. Get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there. I'll be happy to see you there. Uh, we have all sorts of people who love to ask questions and answer questions, or you can request videos for this channel. Get into the community and start making a dialogue with us because we want you to be able to use your QuickBooks point of sale better every day and every season so that uh, your retail store only gets better and better and better because you know what you're doing. All right, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. You can get all the latest, greatest videos as they come out. But let's get into the question about what you can import into QuickBooks Point of Sale. I'm going to head up here on the File menu and go to Utilities and Import. And this will pretty much spell it out for us. Uh, before I jump over, hit the next button, get into exactly what you can import. One of the questions I get a lot is, hey, can I just, you know, can I import past transactions from my other point of sale machine? And the quick answer there is no. Sorry, I have to stop you dead in your tracks and just tell you that you cannot import uh, past transactions from a different system because those transactions were not recorded in this system and that's just not how it works. So. There are four main things here. I would say usually like three main things here that you can import. Uh, one of them is just an extra add-on. Uh, we got inventory items, which is almost, I would say the number one thing that everybody wants to import is inventory items because it is going to save you so much time, an amazing amount of time. If you do not import your inventory items, then you would actually have to manually create every single item that's going to go into your point of sale, every single item that's present in your store or that you want to sell. And that takes, I know some stores that do it though. I mean, they go ahead and every time they receive something new from the onset of creating their business, every single thing that they ever receive, they create manually. If at all possible, you want to skip that. If there is a way that you can request from your vendor, hey, could you send me over my orders, all of the things that I've ordered in a spreadsheet? A lot of times a vendor can do that because they can export it out of their ordering system, their sales machine, whatever they got that they're fulfilling their orders with. Oftentimes they can just export that either in a report or what have you you're either going to want it in CSV file or Excel file. And when you import it into QuickBooks point of sale, you will need to do it from an Excel file, but it's very easy to turn a CSV file into an Excel file. So number one, inventory items. And of course you're going to want like name, how much it cost, uh, any special attributes about it, uh, description, I don't know what it's made out of. Part numbers are really great to have. UPC numbers are great to have, obviously. Uh, UPC is like a barcode number. Uh, part number would be what you order it. You, usually if you're ordering from a vendor, you send them a purchase order with the part number and then they can very easily fulfill your purchase order. So yeah, if you can get that from your vendor, then you can go ahead and import it right here. <laughs> And the number one problem I see with people importing inventory items and, and make sure you watch our inventory import video because I'm pretty sure I'm specific about this in there. You want to format the entire sheet as text. Don't put it on general and don't put thing, don't put columns on number because it'll get rid of certain digits and stuff. Make sure the entire CSV or spreadsheet in Excel is formatted as text. And that way it 
it won't lose anything. All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off tangent by tangent by tangent, but there's just so many things to keep in mind when you're doing this. Now, next, this is the one that's more like an add-on on the side. I mean, you don't really need this, but I guess it's great if, if you got a bunch of pictures in a folder somewhere, then you can actually import those item pictures. And we'll have a video about this in the future. We'll have a video pretty much about all these. Uh, we already have a great one about inventory items, a very popular video. And so uh, after that, we have vendors, import new vendors or update in vendor information. Uh, so if you're just looking to create your vendor list, then actually when you do the inventory import, if you have vendors in there, it will automatically create the vendor name, but it won't get all the extra stuff like address and phone number and account numbers, etc. And then last but not least, because I do have quite a few uh, people ask for this because they have customers in an old system. And they want to make sure that their customers are available in a new system. And this is, like I said, customers. If you want to import your customers from a different system, you can certainly do that. All of their information, address, phone number, all of, all of the different pedigree information for all of your old customers from a different system, you can certainly get them in there. Now, department list, you see this down here, department list? Uh, some people are like, can I import departments? Well, there's not really much information to do with departments. And so when you're importing inventory items, if you would like to specify the department in the inventory import, it will automatically create the department list from the inventory import. So that's pretty much why that's not on here. But there you have it. These are the things that you can import in QuickBooks point of sale. We got inventory items, item pictures, vendors, and customers. And I hope you can get through that and you will see videos uh, from our channel on how to do each one of these things. If we haven't already created them, then in the near future you will see them. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and you have yourself a stupendous day. All right, bye-bye.